Right out of the gates, we will mention to you guys that there is no major difference between this model and the regular Touch HD 3. All of the Touch HD 3 limited edition bonuses come in the form of a free case and an extended warranty. If you want, you can actually buy the Goody Reader extended warranty and extend it even further than that. Knowing that, let's dive into the unit. You do have your middle screen here that has everything in different square sizes that you have opened if you swipe you get a, another grid and if you swipe even further to the third screen you get a grid of everything that can be filled and you can see that nothing's been opened or downloaded or uh, purchased from the store so naturally there's nothing in the third screen there dropping down from the top you do get all of your wi-fi bluetooth task manager flight mode etc and your brightness and login and send to pocketbook and all of that stuff you can turn the front light on or off respectively and you can have warm lighting which we'll show you in a little bit going over to your library this is where all your books will be preloaded and the things that you download will be stored pressing the home button will take you back home anytime audiobooks down here all LibriVox recordings are in the public domain, and for further information, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by David Clark, based in Dallas Fort Worth, Texas. But he is too tender hearted to hurt a fly. Such a charge is absurd to anyone who really knows him. I hope we may clear him, Miss Turner, said Sherlock Holmes. You may rely upon my doing all that I can. So simply using the included dongle and any wireless speaker, wired speaker, Bluetooth, or even one with a auxiliary jack, you will be able to listen to all your audiobooks via that way. Pocketbook's been in the business for over a decade and the reading experience is very solid and it is tried and true. You can swipe, you can tap, or you can tap the bottom buttons down below to change the pages. You can tap in the center and this will give you all the settings, rotate, notes, dictionary, and voice dictation. You can click on settings and this will give you a list of how to change your font size, how to change hyphenations, line spacing, margins, and even fit to sides, fit to width, regular italicize, and a bunch of fonts that are loaded in here. And there are a ton of fonts. You can click out to simply click out. Once you press and hold on something, you can actually make a long press note. From here, you can export, you can scribble, you can save a note to your note section, which we will show you right here, typing in my name, and then pressing save, this will actually save a note to the note section. I'll just long press on my name there and you will see we have the ability to scribble as well. This will show up with some creating notes and how to's. You can just X out of that. From there, you can choose your line thickness and you can just start drawing on the screen. Alternatively, if you do so happen to have these laying around, you can use these stylus and these are just capacitive stylus and you can use it to take notes. This is very interesting because not a lot of regular e-readers allow you to take notes on e-books. From there, your notes section will have the corresponding books, how many notes you've actually made, and when you click on that, it'll actually tell you that you've made both a text note and a pencil note. You can expand them all or you can actually export them down below. When you click export, they're actually saved to your device storage. From there, you can export them and use them to drag and drop to your computer or even email them. Apps are apps. They don't necessarily mean Android apps because this is not running Android. These are the only apps you have to play with. You have Music Player, Gallery, RSS, Pocketbook Cloud, and to a lesser extent, Chess, Klondike, Scribble, and Sudoku. And we have shown you in previous iterations of these devices that Pocketbook has been pushing scribbling over the ebook, over PDFs, and even note taking, and even color note taking on their color devices. So their note taking isn't the best, but you know what? For a capacitive device that doesn't use a Wacom layer that is not really meant to do note taking, it's honestly not that bad. It's very usable, and what they do is they degrade the line as you're drawing it in order to give you better delivery when you finally let go. You see, it's all kind of choppy, and then it renders itself. You can also use eraser functions 
the eraser works quite well and you can add text on the screen as well so there's a lot of functionality here when it comes to the note taking experience on such a basic e-reader pocketbook is doing something very nice and they've done it before in the past on this side you can actually swipe up and down and it will change the color and this is because it's altering the smart light you can see we're making it more moonlight or we can make it more cold and on this side is the intensity the overall backlight front light level so you can go ahead and swipe that up and down respectively now if you do want a little bit more of an idea of where you are with all of this you can go ahead and tap the center and then the top down you can drop it and now this gives you the actual dial so you can move things around accordingly like that you can actually see where you are you can turn on auto which isn't dictated by any sort of light sensor it's basically the time of day so you can see we have 317 on november 8th that is incorrect so it will adjust itself accordingly to that Limited editions by Pocketbook don't release the device in any sort of refreshment, so it's basically the same device. Sometimes they add beautiful limited edition colors, and they add cases and extended warranties, and that's all very great. The device itself isn't breaking any new grounds, and this is just a rehash of the Touch HD3, but it is a breath of fresh air to see these devices coming back in different colors, different boxes different packaging and it's all very beautiful and nice and it's very appealing if you do want to grab this it is available on our store at goodyreader.com slash blog slash shop we will have a link down below and if you want to see anything else on these devices head over to youtube.com slash good e-reader this is the pocketbook touch hd 3 limited edition and this is peter